Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Crazy D's Equipment. So we're up here at our local show. We do this every year. I've been doing this since I was a little, little kid. Uh, up here at Gossel, Kansas. Uh, this year we're featuring Alice Chalmer and 100 years of Gleaner Combines. So... Look who's back. Aww. So we're going to um, walk the show with Angie. Earlier today we uh, did the parade. Went well. Well. went very well we had fun with that um, so let's just kind of walk the parade or well not the parade we did the parade yes let's uh, let's do the show okay. and then stuff and uh, we'll take you guys along with us and and go check out some things and uh, Angie can teach us some more about tractors sounds good is that not plan yeah. okay let's sounds go good. so this is some of the oldest stuff out here this is the stuff that's uh, owned by the by the club and owned by the by the museum because uh, there's the the Gossel uh, Museum uh, Thrashing Museum I believe it's called and uh, kind of the history of the turkey red wheat and stuff in this area and all, and the farming and stuff that came through here so at some point if you're ever passing through Kansas guys and you're up in this part of the country that museum is definitely in Gossel in Gossel Kansas is a it's a good it's a good jump off the, the freeway to to check out and and, and spend an after it won't take a whole afternoon it'd be a good point to get out and stretch your legs and stuff so uh there's some really neat stuff in there so well, there's an old old holt 75 uh, and stuff um uh, i mean these is all turn of the century prairie tractors this is the stuff that broke the prairie and, and uh, got it got it ready for for farming. This is stuff that you know. Everything in this row is over a hundred years old. I mean, this is you know. I'm I, th I don't remember the years on a lot of this stuff. Uh, this is an almond Taylor, and I think this thing is what year is this? Remember what year this one is? Does it say? So yeah. So yeah, this one's almost. So this one's almost 100 years old. It's 99. It's a 1924. So, but I mean, just look at this. Stand inside that wheel. Doc needs to get a shot of that. I mean, you know. I mean. We always because tease you about being short. I mean, even I, who I'm six five, and I can, I can stand in the wheel. Yeah. You know, and it just tells you the size of these things. So, you know, and these are, you know, these are one cylinder, two cylinder beast. So, but. Let's move on over here to some of these tractors that are a little bit more in the uh, in the domain of what people regularly collect. It's a little Massey Harris 26 combine. Look how tiny that thing is compared to a yeah. modern machine today. You know, and that was you know and that was wood. Yeah, wood and stuff on it. <coughs> it always amazes me at these things, at this stuff and the brands that show up. You know, nowadays, there's hardly any tractor company brands out there you know, it's pretty much you got you got about. I mean, if you want to buy American, 
you really have, well, you, you don't even really have more than one choice. I guess you could say John Deere, but I mean, even John Deere is not all American anymore. There's so many foreign investors in the company. It's not even a full American company anymore. And I know a lot of guys will get upset when they hear that, when they, I say that, but I mean, really, if, you know, so, but uh, Case International is so, is part of New Holland and uh, uh, New Holland is more, more European than it is anything else anymore. So, but back in the day, our grandpas and our and our dads could have picked from John Deere or Ford or International or Case or Alice, Alice or McCormick. Farmall or not Farmall? Farmall was part of International. Oliver. Oliver. Uh, uh, a Fortson if they wanted it. Uh, Cock shut. You know, there's all those odd. Or the orphan country companies as they call them you know they get a white the leader uh uh wards graham bradley so many different companies that they could have picked from huh no leader was built in i think iowa or idaho or iowa they you know yeah leyland leyland was an import so here's a, here's a dream bucket. You know, my birthday's coming up this month. Oh lord. You could you could get me one of these, Ange. Yeah. I've always wanted one. I've never I never have to buy him a birthday present ever again. I didn't say that. Don't don't be don't put words in my mouth, Doc. Uh somebody's feeling greedy today. <laughs> what would this sell for, Dave? Uh the last one I seen sell on an Ottoman auction. I think I think it brought 15,000. Wow. Yeah. You know, but they're a little bit hard to find. The, uh, the, uh, but there's a, you know, there's a saying in the tractor collecting world about rare tractors. Just because it's rare doesn't make it valuable. Right. That doesn't, that doesn't always translate into a lot of money. You know, I, I bought a, Leaders are really rare. I bought a leader not too long ago, and I think I gave like 200 bucks for it. Oh, wow. So, but, so, but, uh, yeah. So many things. So much stuff. So, here we go. Coming up on Doc's favorite tractor in the whole wide world. Alice Chalmers. That's Junior Mint. Junior Mint's the, uh, is the uh, Alice, Alice Chalmer guy. nut. Uh, Massey 44. Doc just got all drooly. Just noticed he quit filming us and went straight to filming the tractor. Mm. I noticed. No. We're going to do this pulling thing. Uh huh. We're going to get a 444 motor with the exact same block. Oh, we'll is it? paint it red and they won't know anything. Yeah. And it goes from a 35 horsepower to a 45 horsepower tractor. Quit, hold on. Let me grab Angie before she falls asleep. You're boring her. <laughs> We're gonna move along. I'm not bored, you're bored. Hi. Hi. So, there's a tractor that turns 100 years old this year. 1923, your, uh, farm all regular. Chance at lunch and refreshments today, I see the smoking. Smoking diner just rolled in down here to the south next to the That's so, because of well, tractors like this, deli, farmers were, over here in the wheat building, Mr. Yaki over there the, can uh, stop, I could talk. Yeah. Over here the north end of building yeah, so farmers went from having the choice of those great big beasts the over there that we were looking at at first to these. These were the, this was the first row crop tractor. The first tractor that was made for being able to do tillage work and be able to do row crop work. And a hundred years ago, this this is what, what came out. On steel, just like this. You know, 
Look how primitive that steering is. You know, it's just gears on gears. Yeah. You know, it works. It's amazing where we, how far we've come today. And now we have computers in our tractors. And when the dealership doesn't want you to, uh, doesn't want you to fix it on your own, fix it on your own, they shut your tractor down and makes you pay in an extent a huge amount of money to get it fixed. So there's some British Marshall Fields. So that's cool. But, but I haven't seen one of these before. Those are British tractors. Diesel? Yeah, diesels. One cylinder diesel tractor. MyPioneerTractor.com. Huh? MyPioneerTractor.com. Yep. So, they start on a, a shotgun shell. Oh. A blank shotgun shell is how, the, how you start those. Oh, cool. Yeah. Right. He's about to start one, yeah. Get a blank. No, I had it. Pretty cool. What you do here? Oh, I get started. This here's your blow plug for. What I do is pass around. This is a 12 gauge blank. There's absolutely no lead in it. And I'll tell you why. Some guy decided he was going to start one of these that didn't know what he was doing, had lead in it, blew things up, and blew his hands on it. So anybody come by every now and then people know that story, start joking about it. Where's the lead? I shut it down right there. I said, I don't want to if anybody think there's any lead in those bills because of that. It's uh, a little bit of black black powder in the bottom and then a slow flowing uh, rifle powder. We've got lots of children's activities yeah. over at Milt's Uncle Milt's shed for the twentieth anniversary. They have uh, activities such as Paper quilts, drawstring purses, book scavenger hunt, corn shelling, grain tables, and washing dishes. Uh, take the kiddos over there by that. While you're there, they've got the uh, band organ rally on the south, uh, just to the southwest right here, of there. There's a mark here on that cast. This mark has to be on that side, so the piston is on the downstroke. If it's back on the other side, it'll start back. But you don't want to top that down. And then here's a decompression valve. It's, there's a spiral on the, on the uh, fly 
high wheel. Because once, once it starts decompressing, once it rolls, the, the lever falls off of the, uh, the decompression lever falls off, that goes to full compression and starts. Is there a 16 to 1? I'd like to take this opportunity to welcome you all here today, Six, whether you're a spectator, exhibitor, or what, nine, we appreciate two. you being here. Uh, the 50th anniversary of this uh, uh, Queen Air Engine Instruction Company deal with the uh, 50th here. anniversary of the Marion County Instruction Company. Also, the 100th anniversary of the Glenn and Combo. Check out the road. Glenn and Combo. It's awesome. Four so four there. Four there. Four there. Four it's also uh, four 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 over underneath the Big American flag, the Glenn and Combo anniversary of the Kenworth truck. Take a stroll by there and check that out. Um, there's several international farm oil tractors and uh, John Deere Model D smoker tractors over there commemorating the 100th year of those businesses as well. See that will glow there. We've got a silent auction going on in building one um, with a Milwaukee tool set. Uh, there's membership forms in there also if you want to become a member of this club. There's also uh, a rare F7 Gleaner pedal combo in that end of building one that they're rattling on. That was pretty cool, ain't it? It's neat stuff that you find at shows like this. So, I got one of those up for auction right now. I wonder how it'll do. So, but anyways, that's kind of our show every year that we do. How many what? How many rolls? It's 11 o'clock right now. Remember that one we did last year? Ah, uh, four. No, one here. One here. Remember. Two. Imagine, imagine the rows. Okay. I got confused. The rows, they're going to have demonstrations the all day long over there. You're only doing two elevators. Okay, rows I see the rows. See I mean? Yeah. The rows are in the middle. Right there? Okay. Right here. Okay. Yeah, Gosh, that would take that forever. Fun. So, anyways. That would take forever, forever, well, forever. All right. I think we should wrap it up and uh, get on to our next things we got to do. Okay. So, want to tell them goodbye? Thanks for joining us today. The weather's beautiful. It is a beautiful day. See you next time. See you next time, guys.